Okay, this is not good. The pyromane's after us. This is not good. Ouch. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Ark Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we tamed ourselves actually a couple things. We tamed this little Cosmo here, which is probably just going to be for show and nothing more. You got the horses. We got two male horses. They're only males, but whatever. We also got two moss chops, which will make gathering fiber a lot easier. And the main attraction, we got a Ravager. Really cool looking creature, if you ask me. It's very fast, relatively strong, and uh, yeah. Actually, I want to look at something real quick. I can look at them through here. Apparently, this guy has the cowardly trait. There's, like, different traits that certain creatures have. And, like, I don't know how I'd be able to look at them. I mean, I would get this, like, device here. I think it's a gene splicer or something like that. Something to do with genes. It's, yeah, gene storage, gene scanner. That's it. Gene scanner. Which requires 10 black pearls... 10 electronics, 60 polymer, 80 crystal, and 40 metal ingots. Alright, so in today's video, I want to get an Ankylo. So we can get some metal, finally. Now, with the thing with Ankylos, I believe they spawn in the blue area. So we'll have to do some exploration for a bit. We're going to take the Ravager, because he's faster. And then we're just going to... I don't know, maybe... Uh, we're gonna take the bulb dog. We're gonna take the bulb dog. Charge capacity. I'm guessing that increases. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we should be good to go. The longer you have to charge, the better off we'll be. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna tame an ankylo today. Or try to tame an ankylo. It should be relatively easy. I mean, we got 30 trank arrows. We can always get more. We probably could use some more. Alright, well, how are we on spoiled meat? Do we have any spoiled meat on us? We got four in here. Anything in... Inside the Carno? We got 11. We're gonna need all the spoiled meat we can get. The Ravager's got 14. Oh, the Sarko. You might have plenty. You got 13. Alright, so that's 42 altogether. I don't think anyone else would have... Spoiled meat. I don't think the moss chops would have spoiled meat. Alright, I think that's all of them. Let's get the spoiled meat. And then we just need narco berries. A bunch of narco berries. We've got the parasaur as well as an extra parasaur. Let's get some narco berries so we can make some more trank arrows. Maybe fix the bow that we have. Alright, we got the fiber. Let's take that out. Let's get some narco berries. All the narco berries in the world. We're going to have so many. Open the door. Put the narco berries in. Let's craft up another 44 narcotics so we can make some more... So we can make some more trank arrows. Yeah, I just need to get ready for the ankylo. We won't have a saddle right away, but we will have basically everything we need. Yeah, I'm just trying to restock up on arrows real quick. What level is this bulb dog? A 40. Alright. We got some wood. We can repair our bow if we wanted to. Alright, we got that. We're just waiting on some more Trank Arrows, and then we'll be good to go with the Ankylo. I mean, we could go tame it right now, but I just need more just in case. Alright, that's gonna take a little bit. We've got some levels in the meantime. Let's put all five of those levels into weight. Now, for the Ankylo, I'm not too fussy when it comes to levels. I mean, I want it to be able to, to carry a lot, but at the same time, we don't need it to be, like, too crazy or whatever. Let me just put this down. The berries we can drop. Hold on. Where's the biotoxin? Still in here. Alright, so we've got 38 minutes in there. Six hours in there. Alright, cool. We'll keep the biotoxin in there for right now. There we go. And now we can make some more Trank Arrows. Let's go. 
We've got plenty of Trank Arrows. We should be good to go. We're going to take the Ravager out just because you're faster and you attack faster. Yeah, all right. We're taking the Ravager. So... It should be somewhere down there. So we'll go... I did not mean to get off you. I wanted to... All right, you know what? We'll heal you up a little bit, and then we'll go from there. All right, we're fully healed, and we're ready to go. And we've got seven more levels. Let's put them all in the melee. Because we're going to need to be as strong as possible. There's a few Ravagers over here. I'd love to get a high level. A 45 and a 55. I'm pretty sure it... And a 95, okay. I'd love to get a relatively strong one. Breed them up, get some imprinted pack members, and then we'll be good to go. Let's see how strong we are against these guys. What's your trait like? Doesn't look like you have any traits. Alright. Whatever. Alright, we got nine more levels. All melee. Let's go. You know what I forgot to bring? Light pet. Well, we're gonna need the bulb dog for this. Yeah, we're gonna need the bulb dog simply because the bulb dog will give us light and that'll protect us from the nameless that live down there. So we'll bring the bulb dog. We won't bring Cosmo. I don't want Cosmo to die. We'll bring Pugsley. All right, let's go. And we can shoot off the back of the Ravager just fine. So we might be a little bit smaller, but at least we're quicker. All right, so we should be good to go. What the? Is that a pyro main? Since when did they become a thing? There are literally pyro mains on this. I'm going to need to get one. I'm going to need to get one. Mufasa might be making a return. I didn't know pyro mains were in this. We're in this map. Apparently they are. Hmm. Alright, so here it is. The, um, bioluminescent area. Once we get down there, we are gonna have to put our light on. Alright. There's that pyromane. I didn't know pyromane spawned here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get one. Is that a megalosaurus? I'm pretty sure that's a megalosaurus. What level are you? A five. Oh, don't tell me that pyromane's after me. Don't you dare tell me it's after me. Run. Okay, I don't think it's after me. Alright, there's gotta be another way down. There's gotta be another way down because I need to get an ankle out. I don't want to fall down there. Like, the deeper down you go, the more radioactive it becomes. If I remember correctly. Wow. Okay. The addition of pyromanes just made Aberration a lot spicier. We need to get one at some point. We need to get a pyromane at some point. Not today, but we will get one. If we can somehow get down there without being spotted. You know, I'm jumping. I'm going down here. Screw it. Alright, this is where we need to... What is it, R? Let's turn your light on. Alright, so we're protected by the bulb dog. A game? Game? Thank you. Alright. Alright, how do we get down? That's the question. How are we gonna get back up? There's gotta be a way... I think that ramp will take us back up. There is a lot going on down there. There's carnos, snakes, millipedes. If I can make it over there. Actually, this is probably where the Cosmo would come in handy. Because of the web thing. Oh, God. Okay, let's go down. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. All right. Don't panic, everyone. We're fine. What up, snakes? Ah, you missed. Alright, this is where nameless tend to spawn. So we need to be careful. Don't be in the dark for too long. We got some ravagers. Some iguanodons. Some snakes. If we find a shinehorn, I'd love to tame it. 
Because those things are so cute. I love them. What? Oh, that's just... Is that a Megalosaur? Yeah, that is a Megalosaur. Just hanging around in the mushroom, I see. That thing will literally grab my Ravager. So I don't want to take any chances with that. Oh, God. Okay. Don't know how I'm going to get back up, but I'll find a way. I'll find a way back up. That's a Ravager, right? Yeah, we got a couple Ravagers. A level 15 and a level 10. Alright, I think Ankylos spawn down here, I do believe. Yeah, the only thing is I have no idea how to get back down. Of course you're chasing me. I'm gonna need you to not chase me, Mr. Megalosaurus. Luckily, we're fast. So we're able to get away from things relatively quickly. Yeah, this, this was a bad idea. This was a very bad idea. Alright, Ravagers, what's going on with you? Goodbye. 15. Alright, we got five more levels. Let's go up into melee. We want to be able to kill things as quickly as possible. Oh, we got dung beetles. Nice. I might tame a dung beetle for when we plant a guard. There's a max level in the area. It's that frog. It's that frog. Alright. I don't even know if Ankylos spawned down here. Wait, don't Capro spawn down here as well? All sorts of bad stuff. We weren't ready. Is that a Pyroman? That is a Pyroman. At least taming a Pyroman should be easy. Iguanodon, get out the way. Tree, get out the way. Or as long as we have the lights on, Nameless shouldn't be a problem. Oh, that's a Pyroman. Run. Jump. Jump. I don't know if we're faster than a Pyromane, but I'm not looking back. There's an Ankylo. Oh, we're heading into the... We're at... oh, no, don't poop! We're heading into the radiated zone. We don't want to be in there. Down there, that's the radiation zone. Oh, God. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, we need a hazmat suit. Yeah, the further down you go, the more... The more radioactive it becomes. Damn. Of course the Ankylo had to be... Had to be in the radioactiveness. How the hell am I supposed to get an Ankylo? The only Ankylo I see is in that radioactive area. What was this Pyroman? 35. I mean, I'm sure we could take it if we do enough damage. We've got two levels. Yeah, this this was definitely a bad idea. Unless there's like an ankylo somewhere down there. Maybe is there a way we can go this way, maybe? Yeah, see, there's the pyro main. I'm not sure if that's radioactive territory. What was this rep? That's a 110 female. It does have friends. Oh, snakes. How you doing? Oh god. There's the other one. You're a 10. Alright, I think they were gonna get to me eventually. Alright, that Pyromane is slowly inching its way over here. Okay, this place got 10 times deadlier. This place got a lot deadlier. If I can get a level on that Ankylo... Without getting too close to the radioactive thing... Do I take a chance, or... Like, what's considered radioactive and what isn't? Let me just walk slowly over here. Creep slowly forward. Alright, this is the radioactive area. Okay, that's radioactive. What about this area? That's radioactive as well. Alright. Alright. There's an Ankylo down there. I want to see what level it is. It's only a matter of time before that Pyromane chases me down. It's only a matter of time. Oh, oh, come on. I wasn't even touching the radioactiveness. If I can kill you fast enough, you won't be able to grab me. 
before she throw me off the saddle. I guess we take our chances in the water. We've taken out those threats, so we should be good to go. I should have brought the Sarko. The Sarko is just very strong. Alright, where's... I don't want to be grabbed by the crab. Don't be so grabby. Okay, this is not good. The pyromane's after us. This is not good! Ouch. Ah, oh, nice water. Please, crab. Ouch! Ow. Yeah, I'm not having a good time. I am not having a good time here at all. A game? Game? I keep freezing every time I come here. Alright, we need to reevaluate situations. What's going on? Yeah, the Ravager clearly isn't strong enough for this place. Uh, what we might do, find a way back up. Regroup. What level are you? That's a, that's a Dung Beetle. You're a 40. And you have a friend as well. That's a big thing. This is all water and crabs and... Ugh. I don't like this place at all. I really don't. I don't know if Capros are down here. There could be Capros and... There's a bunch of frogs. I know that much. I think it's nighttime as well. Oh. Oh, great. Really? That's considered radiation? I forgot you're very slow. I wish we brought the Sarko. I think we should just get out of here. Maybe an Ankylo will spawn closer to the surface. Or maybe I could do some research on where Ankylo spawn. I mean, we could grab some blue gems while we're here. Alright, we kind of got some peace and quiet anyway. That's the radioactive area down there. Like, I don't know what's considered radioactive and what isn't. Well, there's some obsidian. I might take some obsidian. Ooh, that's a basilisk! That's a basilisk! Run, 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 run. Don't even look behind you, just run. Okay, can I get a moment? What level are you? 20? If I'm quick enough, I can bring you down. I can bring you down if I'm quick enough. Alright, stop moving so I can kill you. Oh, we did it. We killed the basilisk. Not to worry. We killed the basilisk. There's snakes everywhere. That's a pyromane! Run! Run, get out of there. Alright, it didn't see us. It didn't see us. I mean, it's only a 15. We could easily take it. It'll aggro to us. But we'll charge forward. Oh, we got him. Holy crap, there are so many snakes. Alright, there's a yellow drop. I wonder if I can get to it. Maybe it might give me some better loot. Right, another snake. Oh crap. Ravager, where are you? There you are. Him there. Another snake just I'm asleep. Great. Alright, after a long trek we made it back to the surface. We are not ready for down there. Not ready at all. So So we're gonna have to. Yeah, like, Pugsley fell asleep because we got attacked by snakes. We fell asleep. There might, maybe an Ankylo could spawn somewhere other than down there. Uh, I have my phone on me. Let's, uh, maybe we could take a look and see where Ankylo spawn in Aberration. We are clearly not ready for that blue area. Not ready at all. Oh, we just ran into a bear. Actually, if I could tame this bear. Are you aggro to me? You're aggro. Where's your baby? There's your baby. Let me take you. 
So we at least have a bear, something that can protect us. And collect honey. For what that's what we need for some stuff. I don't want to say this episode was a total L. I mean, we did manage to get a baby Megalosaurus and a baby bear. So it wasn't a complete loss. That's level 5 Spino. I'm sure we could take a Spino with no problem. But yeah, like, the bald dog fell asleep. I was trying to get out of there. And then, because it fell asleep, I didn't have any light. And because I didn't have any light, the, uh, Nameless started spawning. It was crazy. Ah, all right. Let me see if I can, like, find something else. Uh, this was a very stressful day. What will you? Well, that's a 145. You know what? Never mind. Not in a rush. I don't have any bolas anyway. So, that was a 145 raptor. That would have been nice to have. Oh, hello. 120, you know what we'll do. You'll do just fine. All right. 3,400 Torpor, which should be good. Oh, come on, don't don't run that way. Don't run that way. We don't know what's over there. And down he goes. Awesome. All right. I think we're ready to go. 120 Ankylo has been acquired. I'm going to put the berries in. And I will let you guys know when this Ankylo is fully tamed. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Ankylo has been tamed. We really just need it to get around and whatever. Alright. We've done it. At least we've done it. That's literally all that matters. We tamed an Ankylo. Even though it wasn't really in the blue area, like, the best place to spawn. The blue area is just way too dangerous. Can only imagine what the surface is gonna be like. Because that's the other thing, the surface. See, this is a broken arc, and everything's underground. Hello, Spino. There you go. Just put you out of your misery. Alright, after a few hijinks, we are finally back at base. Ah, uh, game. Game. Stop freezing. Thank you. We are definitely moving out after this. We're definitely moving to a new location. Somewhere more secluded and whatever and peaceful. Ah, uh, that's what we'll do next episode. Next episode, we will migrate. So, for now, we've got the Inkelo 120. I don't really care about its stats. It's just here for basically... Gathering and whatever. Let me just check your point. Let me just check your weight. 27 into weight. That's expected for a 120. That's expected. And then we got this bear, which was only a level 40, so we don't want it. We don't expect it to do much. You'll just be base protection, I guess. What else do we have? Oh, yeah, the Megalosaurus. We also have a Megalosaurus, which could be used for base protection. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what I could do is get an Ankylo saddle real quick. Maybe gather some metal and whatever. Let me see. I know we have to craft the Ankylo saddle in a smithy. We only need ten metal ingot, which isn't much. I'll give it that. It's not much. Oh, we got a Megalosaurus saddle. We could test you out, see what you're all about. Now, I don't think you have the... What's it called? You were only a level 15. Yeah, I don't expect you to be able to do much. Yeah, your stamina's already going down. What's weighing us down? Well, probably all these resources that I have in my inventory. You don't get groggy like other megalosaurs, do you? Yeah, that's the thing about aberrant megalosaurs. They don't get groggy like the regular ones do. Because the regular ones are mainly active at night. And they sleep during the day. We had 55. 529. You know what? For a level 15, that's not bad. Not bad at all. We do have very low stamina, though. Let's see if we can get that up to a thousand if we can. 5k health and then the rest into melee. You're just gonna be a base protector. Nothing more. 
We got your weight. We're gonna have to get your weight up as well. Your weight isn't really the greatest. 1,500 damage. Yeah, that's better. That is way better. 4,500 with the headshot. All right, let me level up your weight a bit. All right, I don't think we have any metal. So I'm gonna have to go get some metal real quick. We got, we only have 20 metal. We could take the Ankylo to a nearest rock and then have it hit the rock. Because I believe in Ascended, Ankylos can do that. They can't do it in Evolved, but they can do it in Ascended. So maybe we could do that. Just bring the Ankylo over to the nearest rock and we should be good to go. Let's see if we could get a saddle for the Ankylo and I'll, let me go get some resources and we'll get an Ankylo saddle real quick. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And we got a saddle for the Ankylo. You know what? Start eating. All right, now we can gather some metal like it's nobody's business. What level is this guy? 35? All right. Hopefully we can gather some metal like it's nobody's business. Oh, we got five anyway. Sarko, you don't want the smoke. There we go. Oh, we got some stuff anyway. We only have 385 weight. Let's go ahead and bump his weight up. Maybe get his health up to 10,000 and then put the rest into weight. Just get as much weight as possible so we can carry as much as possible. Because all this is all the Ankylos good for. Gathering stuff and carrying a lot of things. Alright, Ankylo, you can stay over here. Alright, what are we like for metal? A game? Game? Thank you. What are we like for metal? We got 126. Better than nothing. Way better than nothing. Alright, let's open that. Let's get the metal going. And then let's get the wood. Where's the wood? Wood. Where's the wood? There it is. Alright, let's cook this up. Actually, that's another thing. A py the pyromane would be really good. It could just light the fire automatically. That's the good thing about the pyromane. Ooh, I can't wait to get a pyromane at some point. I really can't wait to get a pyromane. Shame there aren't any flyers so we could stay safe in the... Like, I mean, I get why there aren't flyers in Aberration. It defeats the purpose of gliders. But I like my Pteranodons. I like my... I like my Argentavis. I mean, I could spawn one in, but where's the fun in that? You know? That would ruin the fun. Let's, uh, keep this as authentic as possible. Alright, so... While that metal cooks up... Should I get some... Maybe I should get some more wood. Do we have any wood? No, you don't have any wood. Alright. We had a pretty eventful day. We tried the blue biome, but it didn't go very well. As you can see by my clothes and whatever. And uh, we tried to find an Ankylo. We did find one in the green area, which I guess they're more common in the blue area, but that's that. And we also found a bear, and we also got a Megalosaur and all that stuff. But yeah, with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>